All the Mods 8 is a fantastic mod pack filled with over 300 mods and amazing quest line. I played this mod pack before and gotten pretty far, but the question is, could I beat it if I only have one life? Let's get started. All right, so our All the Mods 8 hardcore adventure begins now. Uh, I did spawn what appears to be... I, I think this is a mine colony's village. Yes, yeah, spawn is literally at this fence post here. Um, so yeah, I am a huge fan of these brown bricks. Uh, these ones here, they look so good. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is really like a huge advantage starting here because we already have a house. Uh, we can just repair this bad boy up. Um, I like it. And we have here a field thank you field yes thank you all right we've got a crafting table here awesome what do we have here we have mine colonies builder site maybe that's what we focus on today is mine colonies no, i'm just kidding we'll, go, we'll do that in a couple episodes but yes i am probably going to set up shop up here because it's kind of on a hill and i like it okay so i'm gonna do the, all the basic minecraft stuff here gather some tools we'll probably get to iron and then we'll come back but yeah it might be a couple hours but for you guys it'll just be a few seconds so we'll see how that goes anyway wish me luck all right so this is our new comfy little home here yes it's actually a roguelike dungeon that i've decided to live in because that's fun anyway so i want to go ahead and get some sort of automation going already i know that sounds pretty crazy but we can actually pull it off with the power of botany pots so i have a bunch of iron here i ended up getting quite a bit of items we found like this wooden uh jungle temple thing uh, that had like a lot of resources in it so we're going to utilize those but yes, so let's see here. Um, I need some more. Oh, no, we have a lot of weed already. Perfect. So we can turn these into the chests. And we need a total of three hoppers. All right. We don't want to make those. Perfect. So we have the three hoppers here. And I should have a bunch of clay. Uh, yes. Okay. So... We're going to turn these into those, and then we're going to smelt those guys. Uh, we need some cobblestone, and oh, we don't have we don't have anything to do that with. Okay. So here we go. Here's our pickaxe, and um, okay. So check it out. Yeah, this is our base. It's in the middle of a lake. It's really, really cool. Um, yeah, let's collect some cobble. Okay, with more cobblestone collected here, we can make one more furnace. Uh, we can place it like that, just for some symmetry purposes. Um, so yeah, we need a total for a botany pot. Let's let's do the math real quick. One, two, three, four, five. So we need a total of fifteen uh, hardened clay. All right, and then fifteen times three is forty-five. We are one one clay short. Is there? Does there happen to be one single clay block that we can harvest? Yes, we have clay just here. Wait, I didn't need that many. I don't know. Math is difficult for me sometimes when I play this game. We only need a couple. So yeah, so three times five is. We only need fifteen of these. Jeepers. I had myself all word. All right, so we should, we should have the proper amounts of items here. So we're going to turn these into flower pots. And that's actually more than what we need. Okay, so this is going to make it pretty easy. We're just making three here total. So we have an additional two that we can make, which is pretty cool. So let it grow. Yes, we have it. Now if we combine this with a hopper we now have a hopper botany pot and that is going to be the magic recipe so here we go uh can we make one more because that would just go really good all right we're gonna smelt that we're gonna make one more so that we have all four of our botany pots are 
good to go. So we can go like this. We're gonna take out this shelf here because we don't need it. And we're gonna put some botany pots over here to grow. <laughs> okay. We can just put a slab here. Yeah. Do I have any more slabby jabies? Um. We can make some. Perfect. Okay. So now that's got room to grow. The next thing we need to put dirt in each of these and we're going to take this sapling and throw it right in we should have a mineral sapling that is correct we've got one here we can put it like that and then i want to put a do we have any more dirt i surprisingly have low quantities of dirt which is crazy uh and we also don't have any dark oak saplings just yet so we can't get those working all right so now we can make one more hopper botany pot all right and i think yeah we can just do that boom check it out we have four of them going here this guy is growing again this doesn't grow fast but uh you can change out the soil and it'll be better and we just go afk for a little bit and we get materials we have some sort of automation already which is really really cool so i'm gonna chop down we need to kind of find a standalone tree I mean, I can drop down these two and that should work to get us a sapling. Okay, so I got a little sidetracked. Um, yeah, and kind of wandered down here. I don't think I should be here yet. Oh boy. Got some skulk sensors there. Sneaking. Pretty small. What are you? Skulk catalyst. Oh my. We got all the modium. Wow. We're going to mark this on the map. All right, we'll come back for that. We have no means of mining that now, but that is fantastic to find. What are you under here? Nothing. I thought they looked like an interesting block. But very cool. All the modium. That's going to be fantastic. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go back to the base. Explore around, do some stuff. Okay, so we're back here now. Uh, we can put some dirt in the, for the mineral sapling. Uh, I want to see if this works. Yes, okay, so now we have sugar cane that's on That one doesn't actually need to be a 4x4. Four four. Uh, but now we also have dark oak. So we have oak, dark oak, mineral, and then we also have the sugar cane all set up. And the sugar cane's growing quick. Holy cow, that's awesome. So those are going to be fantastic to have. A little bit of automation goes a long way. Check it out. We have a total of three oak logs already. Fantastic. We haven't even done anything. Very good. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and make a squeezer so we can uh, turn this into the mineral, um, what's it called? The mineral resin. Uh, and then when we have, uh, we can get a, we're gonna make a drying basin as well. So that's the goal for right meow. So let's see here, sticks, I believe. If we have everything to make the squeezer, perfect so we actually ju jump on this thing um we take this we put it in um maybe we need some headroom yeah need some headroom 
Okay, and then it's reset with redstone. So we can put the lever. Oop, that is not how you make a lever. You make it like this. And then you put more in. So I wonder if we put a slab there, is that enough to, to jump? I mean, that technically is a full block tall. Let's see, let's put another one. Oh. There you go, it's got a shift. There we go. We just gotta shift click. And it went down. Oh, we need some more. Oh, it might be full. That is okay. Um, all right, so now we're gonna make the drying basin here. Um, and let's see, we have enough iron for it. We need four logs. Now we have those. And then we need two iron, have those, and then we need two um, or black dye. Is there any cool way to turn this into this? I mean, you can throw charcoal into some crushing wheels and make that, but we don't really have another way. Maybe there's a squidums around here. Oh, squidums, are you in the river? It's more like a pond, really. Okay, I need to find two squid that will give me ink. And we will continue after that. All right, we found more than two. We actually found four, and they dropped, They all dropped two each, which was fantastic. So now we have the drying basin here. Uh, now, how exactly do... Can you move? Hello, advancement. Thanks. Okay, water turns orange terracotta back into normal terracotta. We can use this to turn rotten flesh into leather, clay into terracotta. Okay, so it dries it. Uh, we can turn poison into hardened blood. That's interesting. I don't really know how that works. Okay, so yeah, this is what, this is what we want. So maybe, maybe we move this and put it here. Maybe I need a bucket. That would not be ideal if I needed a bucket. I don't have any more iron. I only have one. Hmm. All right, we now have enough iron to go ahead and make a bucket so we can, what? Oh, there it is. Okay, so click. No. Maybe I need more. How does one get it out of there? Redstone pulse to reset. It says there is a thousand mega buckets. Okay, mineral resin bucket. It's a thing. And then disaster struck. While mining, a creeper snuck up behind me and exploded, ending this world we had created. I really wish I had some protection, like ExpressVPN. Now, you can't get ExpressVPN for a hardcore world, but if you could get it for the real world, that might be better, right? Well, that's where ExpressVPN comes in. Not only do they offer online protection, but you can also change which country you're browsing from. All that being said, guys, online security is extremely important today. I've experienced the negative effects of not being protected online. In my own Discord server, a lot of my private information was actually leaked a couple months ago. Uh, now, I'm not sure where they got this information from, but a VPN definitely would have helped. Um, it's not only scary, but the people close to me were also affected. All I'm trying to say is that I highly recommend looking into a VPN, but might as well try a trusted VPN, isn't that right? A special thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring the video. Check out the link in the description to learn more. Well, all right, back to the video. Well, all right, dudes and uh, dudettes, yes. So we died and I had to reset this world. Um, but the good thing is, is that uh, we weren't very far along. I just recreated it after I died. Um, what had happened is I just went down. Uh, there's a little cave system uh, under the water here and I had done slash home. 
came back here, dropped off some items, did slash back, and a creeper was right behind me and exploded. So yeah, I just recreated the world because I figured we were so far along. And I did make a couple of changes here. For one, we have uh, one more, uh, actually two more of these oak drawers here. One is dedicated just for sugarcane, which is fantastic. But we also now have spruce wood. And I also put in rubber wood saplings here because we get latex from these guys. So yeah, this can be used uh, to replace slime ball. So if we want to make the vector plates or even the slime charm, we can use latex here, which is good. We don't get it very fast, but it's still very handy to have passively generating. I also converted this guy to a apple sapling tree. Um, it's going to produce us a decent amount of food. Uh, and then uh, obviously the, the spruce sapling is going to produce an apple, but I didn't want it to be empty there. Um, but yeah, we're doing really good here. I added some chests on to this side. Uh, I did do a little bit of mining in the same cave that had killed me. Um, but what I want to go ahead and do real quick is sleep with you guys. And we're going to start doubling those ores because I don't really want to just get one for one. I want to get the most bang for our buck that we can. So that's what we're going to do. There is a wandering trigger outside. Oh, yeah. And I found this uh, diamond pickaxe of grasping. It was in a chest while I was mining around. But yes, over here, down under. Um, so the, how I found it is there's an iron little deposit here that I vein mined and yeah. So this is the place where we lost our last world. Yes, it was terrible. Um, but yeah, I'm here for the copper. That actually is enough. We're gonna grab some more though, because more than likely we're going to break, oh, iron. We're gonna break our hammer. So this is a very cheap and efficient, well, maybe efficient. I don't know if efficient is the correct word, but we're looking for copper because we can make a hammer out of that. I'm not gonna go too much into my inventory right now because I am a little scared, okay? I always used to think that uh, the, the fear that people have on uh, hardcore worlds at the beginning was just kind of fake or showboaty, or they were just kind of like putting on a display for people. No, like after me, I've lost two worlds now. Um, it's terrifying. Like I don't want to lose those worlds again. And like right now I, I, I haven't discovered this and I'm getting a little nervous because I don't know what's leaking or lurking around the corner. Oh, geez. Oh, we got a creeper over there. Okay, I think we're still doing all right. Uh, I'm gonna grab some more copper. We're gonna grab some some coal. Um, and the thing to remember too is like, uh, I, I, like I, I would consider myself to be kind of decent at uh, PVP or, you know, player versus player or like player versus environment. Uh, and I still died. So, yeah, it's uh, it's not very fun. I mean, I mean, just think about it. Like, going into a cave and you're like, oh my gosh, that's a spawner. We're out. Yep, see, this is... Now I have slowness. Now I have bleeding. Oh my gosh. This is freaking terrifying, dudes. Dudes, are we okay? Okay, we're just gonna go slash home. We got all the copper we need. So, oh wow, we got way more than we need. So I'm gonna smelt up all of this copper here. This is okay, because copper kind of grows on trees almost. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and craft up this ore miner here. And if you mix it, as you can see, you get two gold dust for one, and then you smelt this into those. So yes, this is very good, very good. All right, so we should have enough here to make two of those. Perfect, we got a couple of sticks. That's more than we need, okay. So here we go, this is only going to allow us to do this stack. Um, boom, yep, as you can see, those are gone, but look at that, now we have two stacks of iron. We just need to let more of these smelt up and then we can process up another 50 iron. So that's almost three stacks of iron, which is amazing. All righty, so now we got two more of those. Okay, so now we can process up the last of, oh, well, I gotta craft the hammer first. Oh, I, how did I miss it again? Okay, so here we go. So now look at this, we have a total of two stacks and 50, which is amazing. Um, we have run out of Fernai to smelt things in. Uh, maybe, maybe we move, 
these guys to here. I know that's not enough the things. Uh, we can also do this with our raw copper. And so we can now get more hammers. <laughs> it's kind of a funny process. Um, I would like to make one more furnace. And what we're going to do with this furnace here is we will put those coal in. And then we're going to take some wood and put that in there so we can start making some charcoal. And Okay, so we're in kind of a funny situation right now. Uh, I want to go ahead and see if we can turn one of these into making automatic... <laughs> charcoal but we have a witch that's chilling outside and I don't know what to do it's also a boss um honestly I think the best bet is for me to just like run <laughs> run away oh <laughs> uh, okay so we are gonna need some more iron so I'm gonna have to go mining for a bit uh, which is a little scary just because we've already lost a world. So let me go ahead and wait. No, I have iron. Okay, we don't have to go mining. Jeez. I just did a whole segment on why we needed to double our ores. But this is annoying. So I'm going to do this for you guys. Hostile creatures. I'm going to need to remember to turn that back on. So guys, go ahead and put down in the comments for me to turn that back on so I don't die again. But yeah, we ha I went AFK for a while and we have a heck ton of wood in here. Uh, and also we have a lot of food. Um, we have 37 latex now. Look at this, 900 sugar cane. This is fantastic. And then we have these mineral berries, which I don't. Can we turn these into the thing? I don't. Well, we can use them to smelt. Interest or no? This is generator smoking. Okay, we can use them for power. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and craft up some hoppers here because uh, we're going to set this bad boy up. I think we're going to do it um, oops, that's not what I meant to do. I think we're going to do it in the second floor. I think eight should be fine. Um, yeah, so we need we need two hopper botany pots right now. Um, I should have enough clay for that. Um, so let's Five. Yep, so we need ten of those. And then I do believe we have bricks, if I'm not mistaken. Bricks. Yes. So we can go. Oh, wow, I had bricks on me. Jeez, I feel dumb sometimes. Okay, so all I gotta do is just let these guys smelt up, and we're rocking and rolling. Very cool. Okay, so we should have everything we need now for the hopper botany pots. Uh, I believe if we just add these here. Yes, we get two hopper botany pots. Perfect. Okay, so we need one furnace. Seven cobble. Come on, don't I have one more somewhere? Will this work? I don't know if this will work. I know in some mod packs this has worked. Please work. Yes, it's worked. Okay. Perfect. So I figured we don't need this here. We're going to get rid of it. And we put this here, boom. Um, boom. Hmm, okay. Now, filtering is going to be a difficult part. I need to be able to get up there. Okay, we got some dirt here, perfect. All right, and then we're gonna go like this. And like this. Okay, and so the hopper botany pots can go here. Now, I think this one's needed. I don't know if this one is needed or not, but we can go like this and like this. And my theory is that once it creates wood, like oak wood, it should try to put it here, or even the saplings can go here. And then the wood will go here as well. Ideally, what we can do if this doesn't work out, we can get a filtered pipe. Um, one of these guys here eventually, which we can filter out what we can take. And we can put like a um, a drawer here, a two by two drawer that has void upgrades for the other plants. 
Um, and so basically all it will do is take out the wood and it will leave the sapling sticks and like apples and we won't have to really worry about it. Hang on, if we use spruce, everything from a spruce tree is combustible. I think on the left here, we don't use this, we use a spruce tree. And that way, anything that, that gets made by this can be used to smelt and get us items. Now, this definitely isn't the most effective charcoal farm, but this is a very basic one. And there's a chance it's going to get clogged and I'll have to unclog it a couple times. But I mean, hey, like we're we're sitting really well with this. So I'm going to make two here and I believe yep, I can convert them into normal chests like that. And we're just going to go ahead and put these here. Now, this is definitely gonna be slow. We can hopefully get some faster dirt in here so it'll grow. Um, but yeah, like we just kind of need to send it. I believe also if we do farmland, it's also quicker. So let's go ahead and do that right now too. Where did I put the dang, there you are, okay. So we should be able to go like this. Yep, we have seven farmland. Okay, this is one is almost done. 98, 99. Okay, and then we can take this out, put that here. Yeah, this gives us a 5% speed boost. So if I go like this, yep, there we go. So now it gives us a little bit of a boost uses, and then you can combine that. Wait, I think I have some inferior in essence. So we can probably even get a bigger boost out of it. So let's see if I have some. Inferium, I have one. I would say the more, and oh no, we have a couple. Perfect, okay, so let's combine these up real quick. All right, so let's see, will it let me just swap it out? And then what kind of boost do we get from that? Ooh, 10% increase, okay. It's definitely better than not. And then look at that, we are producing charcoal, everyone. Oh my goodness, would you just look at that? That is fantastic. Okay, and then can, yeah, that can be used as fuel. Again, we're probably just gonna need to have a filter pipe in there eventually. But look at that, two charcoal. We didn't do anything very early in basic charcoal farm. Everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure you hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, guys. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, peace out, bye-bye.